Hello, this is Deborah with Black Education TV. Now on the screen you see an image that says, Support Israel. First of all, I'd like to say thanks to Sister Kaganu from Kenya who sent me this image. Thank you so very much. And I saw your caption that goes along with it as well. Uh, so very true. So very true. But thanks again for sending the image. And I just want to talk about this image for just one moment. I find it interesting that the banner says support Israel and it looks to be an Israeli flag or something and a Kenyan flag perhaps and a black hand shaking a white hand and it's almost a propaganda piece to kind of say to the people of Kenya support Israel that is a banner that goes around the world where they're saying support Israel but they're talking about the state of Israel and the people that reside in the land. But we all know, because the truth is coming out all over the world, people know that the real Israel are not the people that dwell in the land today. Because even in the book of Luke, it says that Jerusalem will be trodden down by Gentiles until the time of the Gentiles be fulfilled. And we know that the time or the rulership of the Gentiles has not been fulfilled yet. It'll be fulfilled when the Messiah returns, when the thousand year reign takes place. So it's already been prophesied that Jerusalem is going to be trodden down by Gentiles until that time. So those people are not the real Israel. But they go around the world telling everyone to support Israel. Now, if people were really to support Israel, there would be a lot of so-called black people who were slipped into, I'm sorry, shipped into slavery that would be a lot better off than they are. But unfortunately, most people who support the Israel that they believe is Israel, which are the, the white Jewish people, if they knew or they found out that the real Israel were so-called black people, the ones, the ones that they hate and despised, they would all of a sudden cut off the blessings. Oh no, we're not going to support Israel because you know the scripture says about the Israelites that he will bless those that bless them and curse those that curse them. You see, and so a lot of people are more than happy, more than willing to send billions of dollars to people who are already billionaires, but cannot fathom blessing the real true Israel, which are the people of Yah. Now, we do have a lot of Gentiles that follow the ministry um, that are coming into the truth and waking up to the truth. But there are a lot of Gentiles who refuse to accept who we are. As a matter of fact, those Gentiles... They actually come attacking verbally, sending curses and all kinds of things because they don't want to accept or believe that anything dealing with the Bible was black other than ham. There, we get a slew of Gentiles that come on our boards telling us, "Oh, you're not the Israelites. You're you're not the Israelites. You are the Hamites." They they love telling us that. Telling us that is not going to make it true doesn't matter how many times you say that to us, it's not going to change who we are historically. You can believe what you want to believe and say what you want to say, but at the end of the day, the Most High knows who His people are. And His Word even said that the curses were going to be assigned upon the children of Israel as a whole. Now, individually, the Most High can bring about deliverance because there is going to be a remnant that's going to be saved according to grace. The Scripture talks about that. Just because we know that the curses are going to be assigned upon our people doesn't mean that we ride the horses, the, the curses like a pony or like a horse. Don't mean we cave into it or give into it. It's basically saying, it's really prophesying that most of our people, the majority of our people are still going to be under the curse because they refuse to turn from their sins and they refuse to follow after the Most High's laws, statutes, and commandments. And so we are going to see the curses upon our people. But once you wake up to the truth, then your life and your existence should change. Because, and ye shall know the truth, and the truth will make you free. But again, back to the image um, that Sister Kaganu sent um, from Kenya. This image is just another propaganda piece. We see these things all around the world. Um, either images or videos or books or television shows or movies 
you know, Schindler's List was one of the biggest ones. I remember that one snagged us back in the day when we were Christians. We were like, oh, those poor Jews. And we were just, you know, so sad and hurt and crying for them. Really, we are the Israelites. Our people are the ones that the scripture spoke of in Leviticus, the 26th chapter. Deuteronomy, the 28th chapter. And throughout scripture, when it says that our visage or the, the visage of the Israelites would be blacker than coal. Now, if you look up visage, it said their faces. Now, the translators chose to use visage. But if you look up visage, V-I-S-A-G-E, their faces were blacker than coal. Come on now. Other areas throughout Scripture, if you look at Whited Out Part 1, as a matter of fact, look at the whole series. If you look at the series, we provide a lot of Scripture a lot of scriptural proof of who the Israelites are, according to the Bible. I think it's kind of interesting. There was a, a Gentile who just came at us. I mean, I, I would feel almost like he was spamming our channel, dropping all these kind of scriptures, trying to trying to prove to us that oh, uh, we're 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 the fake ones. We're not the. And he refuses to believe that the Messiah is black and that the Israelites are black and uh, anything of the sort. And they they resort to all of this name calling getting so angry and what I find interesting they're doing all the name calling you're dealing with them very calmly very um, nicely but they're calling your names calling you all kinds of racial slurs uh, saying that you're of the devil getting so angry cursing at you and yet they want to believe that is no way possible that the people of the Bible could actually be black. And so they drop in all these scriptures, none of which points to any of what they're trying to prove. The scriptures that they're dropping are saying, um, in, in Christ there is neither Jew nor Gentile. What does that prove? That doesn't prove that the Israelites were white. They're dropping scriptures talking about false prophets and um, dropping scriptures um, um, saying that the Gentiles are this and that and and their um their um Nazarites were whiter than milk and oh my goodness just things that have absolutely nothing to do with the Israelites and what they look like all of this arguing and name calling and proving absolutely nothing like i said just because you don't agree doesn't change history you can throw up all the smoke screens you want, hurl all the racial slurs, make all the threats you want. But the images on the walls of Egypt do not lie. Because you see, you forgot this detail. There's one very simple detail. The Israelites were slaves in the land of Egypt. And when you look at the ancient images, you see the black slaves in Egypt. The Israelites, the black Israelite slaves that the black Egyptians, ancient Egyptians, because unfortunately, some of you young people today, you'll go look up Egypt today and you look at the people and you see the pale skin and you say, but the, the Egyptians are white. They're they're pale. I said ancient Egyptians, when you look at the hieroglyphs and the art on the walls and the bust with the afros and the. Um, ethnic looking hairstyles and the dark skin and the braids and all of that other stuff. The ancient Egyptians were so-called black people and their slaves were black as well. So when you look at the propaganda that's being paraded around the world and posted here and showed there and shoved down people's throats saying support Israel. If we were to flip it around to the right image and you showed an image of a so-called black person with the clothes of an Israelite on and you said support Israel, I just wonder with the well all of a sudden run dry on all of those Christian ministries that like to send all of these millions of dollars to people who are already billionaires thinking that they're fulfilling Yah's purpose. Why don't you take a brave and bold step, those of you who like to send all of these millions and billions over there to Israel, 
Why don't you be a blessing to one of Yah's true servants, or some of Yah's true servants, or some of Yah's true people? Some of the Israelites that are here, right here in America, struggling, being mistreated and abused. It makes me wonder when um, during the Jim Crow era, um, during the early 1900s, when uh, some of the so-called white Jews would appear to come to the aid of black people. It makes me wonder if those particular Jews said, well, you know what, I think I better help them. Maybe they were feeling guilty about what their ancestors did. And some of them actually know and have come forward saying that they have actually taken over our identity. Some of them have actually came forward saying that. And so it makes me wonder if those who have actually reached out to help so-called black people, if they are trying to fulfill the scripture that says, I will bless those that bless you and curse those that curse you. Very interesting when you think about it. But again, that's my take on the image, um, how they're always asking. I mean, you're even, they're even going to areas where people are poor asking for support. Very, very interesting. Okay, family, I'm out.